Allison and Daryl, and Hi, we're back, and hopefully we'll get through this video. There's a dog down here, and I thought there was another okay. one. We have plenty of pups. There's another one somewhere, but we're gonna hope to get through this video because little man is napping. Look at that little nugget, y'all. I'm just obsessed with them. I'm so obsessed with them. So anyway, so today is <laughs> gonna be like the first in a series. Like we're gonna do my perfect day at dot 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 and today we're gonna do my perfect day at magic kingdom mm -hmm. so i'll start before i met before i had connor before i met daryl when i went with my parents when i've gone with my friends i am such an early riser and i just think it's so important to you know get up and get out you know to the parks <coughs> at opening i don't know what just happened i think it's so important to get to the parks at opening, stay you know through lunch, go back to the hotel around nap, like around one or two for naps when it's the busiest and the hottest of the day, and then get back out there around five or six. So my perfect day at Magic Kingdom, I guess I would like, I probably would want to stay at Contemporary and just walk right over. We're doing that in May. We're so excited. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna walk right over to Magic Kingdom. But, um, and we're also doing this in May, we haven't done this yet, but we've watched plenty of other people do it. We're going to do the early morning magic. So I would think that would start my perfect day. Um, it's an extra ticketed event, um, so it's extra money, but they only sell to a limited number of people. So there's only going to be so many people in Fantasyland with you. Um, and then it includes breakfast. So we'll do all the rides at Fantasyland. And then when Magic Kingdom opens to the public at like nine, we'll eat. Um, but that, I mean, that's just so perfect because- It works out better for us since we have Connor. Yeah, I mean, since we have to get up early anyways, I mean, he's up at seven. Um, but it's just so- like, Seven's the, the, the latest too some days. Yeah, I mean, he slept in the 7.30 day. Woo -woo! Okay. So, um, and he, I don't think he actually slept in. I think he was like playing in his group. Anyways, yeah. so, um, but like Peter Pan is one of those ones that's like a must do fast pass if you want to ride it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's open, you know, and you pretty much walk on. Seven Dwarfs is a must do fast pass. It's open, you know, during the early morning pregnancy. And, you know, you pretty much walk on or maybe wait five to 15 minutes. So that would definitely be my perfect start, even though it's an extra, you know, cost. For us, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. um, knock out nice. Seven Dwarfs. Connor can't ride that yet, but. You know, Daryl can go on it. I don't mind missing it. Um, no, it's still, it's a fun ride. Really, it's a fun ride. Um, and then like Peter Pan, it's a small world, which is Connor's favorite. He comes off the one more piece, more. Um, what else? So yeah, so that's how I would start my morning. How would you? Would you start? Would you? You mm -hmm. probably would rather sleep in and do early morning magic. No, no. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, here at the house, I'd like to sleep in, but when I'm down in Disney, I'm actually up and ready to go. I don't really want to sleep in. I'm like, I want to go do stuff. And that, that, that my whole body says, you know what, you got to go when I'm down there. So, it's training. <laughs> she was right. I used to <laughs> I used to work third shift and I'd sleep in until like two or three in the afternoon. Yeah, that changed. That wasn't even really third shift. That was like you were done at two in the morning. Yeah, that's true. Two or three. Anyways. So, yeah, so then I would eat breakfast after the early morning magic, and um, probably after early morning magic, I probably would get fast passes for Haunted Mansion, Pirates, and Jungle Cruise, and I would probably try to line them up from like 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, if I could do that. So I would knock out all of... Um, Fantasyland, um, come over, do Haunted Mansion, and then come on up and do those two rides kind of out. But let me just tell you, I would, you know, make sure we got up to the front at some point because we're kind of we wouldn't be too far from the bubble um, to do the to do one the parade, the dance parade. It's move it, shake it, celebrate it now. Um, Connor loves it and I loved it before Connor like I went with a group of girls and Goofy came and got me from the side and now Goofy has come and gotten Connor and so like I love dancing mm -hmm. Connor loves to dance Daryl loves to dance so I just think it's a fun parade yeah I know big guy still like to do <laughs> um 
But yeah, so like I would make sure I make the time to do that parade because I mean kids just love the little things. Like I had a girl on my Facebook where she posted, you know, in Disney you must and people put all these different things. But I just think, you know, you, I mean you have no you plan and you plan and you plan. You just have no idea once you get down there what your kid's gonna love and what your kid's gonna enjoy. And Connor just loves the dancing, the the street music, the you know, just the little things. He could get entertained by a duck and quack quack and just want to see it. Like, oh, he that's so true. Yeah, he doesn't care if we're late for a fast pass. He doesn't care if we've spent this and this and this. Like, he, I mean, it's just the little things. And that's why I try to stress people like, it is the little things at Disney that your kids will remember and just take the time to do it. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. But yeah, that would be, you know, early morning magic, Haunted Mansion, Pirates, and Jungle Cruise fast passes. Just because, I mean, that that would be it for right now. Daryl's going to completely go off and say he would get a fast pass for the runaway train or Splash Mountain. But Connor can't ride that, so I'm not getting those fast passes. Go ahead. No, she's right. She's 100% right. You I get mean, it for both? Mm, no. And also, I mean, Splash Mountain, depending on what time we go. Cause I really like that drop. Um, Space Mountain. We're not, we're not tomorrow. Like, would mm. you go over, would you... I would go to the right if once getting off Small World, I would go over to the right. Would you go to the left towards Tomorrowland and want to knock it out? Mm -hmm. Okay. See, I would do that probably after now. But you would. His both of our favorite rides is Space Mountain. But it's just a completely, it's so it's just a completely different ball game right now because I, I have to do Space Mountain on our trips. I don't mind riding it by myself. But like none of the other big ones, I have to ride. Whereas Daryl wants to ride them all. You know, when me and Connor will go find something to do. Right? My, my adrenaline junkie, I can't say it. No. No. And then, um, we that's around the time we would leave. These little rides, um, Ariel, it usually doesn't have much of a weight. The Carousel, which is one of Connor's favorites, it usually doesn't have much of a weight. And the teacups usually don't have much of a weight. So you can kind of squeeze those in. Um, but like Pirates and Jungle Cruise and... Those, um, Haunted yeah. Mansion, they can get to 45 plus on a busy day. And Mine Train is going to have the busiest way. Peter Pan's going to have the second busiest. That's why we mm. like to do early morning magic and knock those out and not have to use up a fast pass on them. And he kind of do that. So after that, I would I would leave. I would try to do, I would try to line up those fast passes from 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, and I would leave. Yeah. Um, walk right back to the contemporary and let Connor nap for a couple hours and get out of the heat and then ideally i'd like to be back at three i you know i really love the Fe festival of fantasy break it's a lot harder when you're not staying on a monorail hotel to get back you know disney if you're relying on disney transportation or whatever but like if you're at one of those you know where you could boat at the wilderness if you could hop on the monorail mm -hmm. you know, walk at the contemporary you know try to get back for that festival of fantasy parade at three it, it's just it's got everything it's got the princesses for the little girls it's got you know, the bad, not bad, but like the princesses for the boys and just, it's just got a little bit of everything that, you know, people seem to love. Connor loves watching it here. Um, so I would try to get back at three. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. Cause yeah. I mean, go back, relax a little bit. I, I don't, I don't nap. They nap. He usually goes to the pool. I go to the pool. Um, yeah. so that's about the same. Yeah. And, um, we would either eat lunch. If we ate lunch at the park, we'd probably eat it at Pinocchio Village House. If we're mm -hmm. doing a quick service, we'd either do it at Pinocchio Village House and try to sit where you can see like Small World coming in, you know, waving, yeah. or Cosmic Rays and um, Tomorrowland. It kind of just depends on where we're at though, because we'll eat really anywhere. We're not, most of the quick service food's the same. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a, it's a thin burger, it's the little chicken nuggets, it's a side of fries. It's, pr it's pretty much, don't come after me people, but I feel like it's pretty much the same. It is. Um, so come back for the parade. For the cheeseburger egg rolls. Also, like if you line up your fast passes like that, you can get more. After you use the first three, you can get one more and then one more when you use that. So once we used up our third on Jungle Cruise, I'd probably be on my phone trying to get one for Space Mountain or Buzz Lightyear when we got back from, um, break. But she'd be doing it while she was in one. Yeah, as soon as we redeemed it, like, I'd start working on it for us. Yep. Um, Space Mountain, you might not get. that They usually get booked up. But, you know, Buzz Lightyear or something like that. So, 
we come back, we do the Festival of Fantasy Predicted Week, because I feel like at this point we're kind of just starting to <laughs> mesh and blend with our best days at Disney other than you would do more of the adrenaline junkie stuff. That's true. Um, but I would go after the Festival of Fantasy Parade, I would go to the right and I would knock out Tomorrowland. Um, and then kind of come back and do Ariel and you know the Little Mermaid ride and do Dumbo. You, know, you could probably get a fifth or sixth fast pass. If you, you know, that's the trick is people kind of spread out their fast passes and you have to use all three before you can get a fourth one. If you can back line it up, if you're staying on property, it's a lot easier to do this because you can book 60 days out instead of 30. But you can line them up back to back to back. And once you get done, get another one. And then once you get done with that one, get another one. It's really easy to do at Magic Kingdom because there's so many rides. So the fast passes don't run out as fast as other places where there's less rides. Mm -hmm. But um, Space Mountain, Buzz Lightyear, Marlene Transit Authority. Um, we're not that big. Connor will do Dumbo, but it wasn't his favorite. So we haven't done the jet, the Jets or Aladdin or anything. No, no. Um, but I would do Tomorrowland. It's one of those we kind of suspect that that will lead into him wanting to do those when he gets older. Yeah, but like just right now, it's just Dumbo's not really his favorite. He'll ride it. Um, we'll get a fast pass for it. The only problem with getting a fast pass for Dumbo is they don't get to play in that playground. No, and six. yeah, but like this time we'll probably wait in line. So if it's like a 20 minute, we'll let him play. Like he likes playgrounds. Um, but that's a really cool, you know, if it's 20 minutes, just wait and let them play. You get a buzzer and then you'll go up to the front. Yep. Um, and it's, in, it's kind of inside, I think. It's it AC. Yeah, and then we don't stay on closing anymore. It's just, mm -hmm. you gotta kind of pick your battles. If you have Connor, you know, or little ones even, and you, you're getting them up at 6.37, even with a break, like. They're done by eight. If eight, like I kind of like being out of there by seven. Um, Connor, you typically hear goes to bed around 8.30, so getting out at seven, you know, starting his bath and all that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm you know, back at the hotel and, and getting them down. And kind of staying on that routine is good. We tried pushing it when we went in November past his nap time and y'all, he like cried for like 30 minutes to an hour. It was a bad situation. It was the worst head beating I ever got. He swagged me a couple times. Yeah, he was over it. He was done. I mean, that's a one we learned for the first time. As long as I've been going, you know, it's just don't push them. Like don't push them far past their schedule. I mean, I know it's like, sensory overload for them, but like they will break down. And they're gonna break down anyways, even if you're going back to the hotel for naps, even if you, it's, it's hot, it's muggy, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot of walking, it's a lot, it's just a lot of stuff. And they're gonna have their breakdowns and 95% of people around you like are gonna understand that and like give you your space and let you do it. You're probably gonna have like a couple people look at you like, why is your kid breaking down? I guess their kids never do. But, you know, just it's just important. Let your kids be kids. Don't push them too hard, you know. Take them back for naps. Take them back, you know, if it's early, if it's just been a long day. Mm -hmm. Disney's just always going to be there. It's never going anywhere. It's just any anything else you want to add before we wrap this one up? No, you pretty much covered everything that I would want to do. I mean, like I said. We, we do it all. We, would, we could skip the Tiki Room. Yeah. We could skip the President's. It's not a ride. No, but. it's a show. Um, right now with Connor, we skip Carousel Progress. We love it, but like we skip it with Connor. It's a 20 minute move around the thing. It's in Tomorrowland. And love it. We are um, in this in May, because I did this growing up, but we haven't done it since we started dating and going. Um, we're going to do like Tom Sawyer's Island. Oh, yes. Or the other one. I, I, I have never done it, even for the many times that me and her have went. Swiss Family Treehouse. That's yeah, we one. haven't done that I think we're going to do Tom Sawyer's Island this time. But those would be going to be fun. Yeah, so we'll let you know our feedback on that. We just haven't done it. I haven't done it since I was small and enjoyed it. And that's all for this video. Um, we'll have three more videos where it's our perfect day at Hollywood Studios, which is going to be very different here in a few months. Our perfect day at Animal Kingdom. Our perfect day at Epcot. And maybe we'll even do one at Disney Springs. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You don't want to leave out Disney Springs. Um, no, not since all the stuff they've added. No, no. no. But, um, yeah, that's all for our Magic Kingdom Perfect Day. If you have any questions for us, leave them in the comments. We love answering questions, especially me. I love talking Disney, clearly. She does. Um, yeah, it's like a passion. <laughs> so, anyway, so if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. We'll love to answer them. Have a great day. Yeah. Bye. Bye.
No, oh, he's still sleeping. Look, he's still sleeping. One of these days, like, he'll be in the video with us. Yeah. He, I mean, like, the ending or something. Maybe, like, when he wakes up, I'll kind of bring him in front of the camera for this one. Let him say hey, because he's the cutest. Bye. Bye,